Yeah, hello everyone and welcome to Denbydale Amateur Radio Club. Uh, my name's Nick, my call sign is G4IWO and I was elected again this year as the chair at our annual general meeting. We had a really good club committee meeting uh, last night and we decided that uh, we would issue a statement today which we will publish uh, widely uh, across our own membership uh, to our supporters and on social media. What we agreed last night, and this was agreed unanimously by every single member of our branch committee, that there are members of our club who get pleasure in different activities. So there are members that have got enormous pleasure from the fantastic array of speakers we've had at our online meetings. Uh, we've been honored to have people like, for example, uh, Rob Sherwood of America, who writes fantastic detailed technical reports on the performance of modern radios. We've have hit, had him as a speaker. We've had people like Bob Heil, who set up the Heil Company, producing microphones for the amateur radio community. So we've had some amazing speakers from across the world, and we very much want to continue with that. And we know that a lot of our members, certainly the majority of our members, uh, get a lot of pleasure from that. Uh, we've also um, been organising, especially in the last few years, very regular portable activities at the field that we have uh, got access to in Farnley Tyres. Now, that field has enabled us to put up different radios, uh, play with different antennas, uh, to run special events there. We ran Yorkshire Day uh, there for the last few years. And uh, we've we've enabled uh, people to come across and just see what we're up to and chat to us. And one or two of those, uh, since talking, have uh, taken the opportunity of joining the club. And that's great news. Uh, <clears throat> we've also got members who very much enjoy what we used to enjoy before pre-COVID at the Pie Hall in Denby Dale, uh, which is regular meetings in person where people can sit together in a room, uh, they can have a chat together in a, in a warm, uh, comfortable environment. And uh, last year, we, or earlier this year rather, we tried a few things to get these events off the ground. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the venues that we chose uh, turned out not to be the best. <clears throat> Excuse me, but at the last uh, club committee, uh, rather, sorry, at the last uh, AGM, uh, one of our members, uh, Darren G0BWB, who's now on the club committee, um, offered to um, organise the uh, regular club meetings in person that we'll hold once a month on the first Wednesday of each month at the Golden Cock in Farnley Tyres. And the first of those has taken place. And we're delighted that that's happened. Uh, what that means, of course, is that members of our club can choose and look at the various activities and decide whether or not they want to participate in those and uh, can consider what suits them best and what they enjoy best. I've got no doubt there will be some club members who do everything uh, because they like amateur radio so much and they like what the club's doing. They want to participate in as much as possible. We'll have other club members that dip in and out of of the different activities. We'll have others that regularly attend the online meetings, others that regularly attend the in-person meetings. And we actually think that is a very, very good thing for the future of our club, because just as in exactly the same way, we have people who love CW, people that love HF, people that love VHF, people that uh, have taken on board the new digital modes like FT8 and really enjoy those. We have people that enjoy contesting. We have people who enjoy portable activities. Not all those things appeal to everyone who enjoys this very wide hobby uh, that we have. Uh, I know, for example, we've got some members of the club uh, who really just prefer uh, fiddling and building their own equipment or restoring uh, equipment, older equipment that is no longer working. And that gives them uh, a large amount of pleasure. And in exactly the same way as the club offering different activities, there are people in our hobby who enjoy different things as well. And, and we believed, and we've, we've agreed in our statement uh, from the club committee, 
that this is actually the basis on which uh, Denby Dale Amateur Radio Club can go forward and thrive as a club by offering different things to meet different people's needs and wants. On top of that, um, we also made a point in our club committee last night in confirming that there are some members who don't want to be involved in some aspects of the club activity. And we specifically said this doesn't make them any less a member. There are probably people, in fact, I know there are one or two people who have joined the club and really don't participate in very much at all. That's their choice, but they've chosen to want to support what we're doing as a club. They want to, they like what we're doing. They like what we have done and they want to see the club continue and therefore want to show their support uh, by paying, you know, the very modest fee that we expect from people to become a member of the radio club. And, that, and that's great news and doesn't, none of that detracts from those individuals. Um, in addition to that, uh, we really want to build on the success of the club. So we, we've got a, a club um, tabletop sale uh, taking place in February at the uh, Denbydale Pie Hall again on a Saturday afternoon. The last one was amazingly successful. We actually raised a very large amount of money for uh, club funds and we sold a lot of equipment and many members and people that turned up on the day uh, were very, very pleased with the uh, bargains that they got uh, when they came across. So look out for the date of that in the club calendar, which you'll find on the club website, ddars.net. We are a small club, but if we can do, we want to support community activities, whether that's activities in the various communities uh, around uh, West Yorkshire and around Denby Dale, whether it's the scouting activities that we've supported in the past, we very much want to continue doing that. And uh, people here who are members of the club, if you know of, of organisations, schools, um, colleges, uh, local groups that you think would benefit from having a visit from the club, please let the club secretary, Rachel, M1AYG, know so that we can see if we can find uh, a, a means of supporting them. We're also now, we've uh, agreed that Ken, G4VZV, uh, is going to take on the job of mentoring and support in the club. So we've got new people to the hobby. We've got some people that have been around for many years, but have been out of the hobby for 30 or 40 years and have discovered it in the, again in their later years as a hobby to pursue. Um, and Ken has agreed to take on the role of uh, support to those people. And we know we've got members who would very much like the club to be more proactive in running special event stations and running contests. And we'll try and meet those needs but the way we will meet them is not by one or two people on the club committee trying always to be the organiser of that. The way we will improve the club and make it build and make it better for the future is really challenging club members. If there's something you want to do and you can offer help on doing it, then would you take the lead on it? If you want the club to organise something in particular, one of our club members uh, made the point to me, it would be great at Farnley Tyres to take part in one of the VHF contests like the RSGB Field Day or the Practical Wireless uh, VHF uh, contest that they run once a year. It would be. And if someone comes forward and we can find one or two other people to work with them to help organise that, the club will support it, we will publicise it and we'll advertise it amongst our members. And I'm quite sure there will be people who would love to participate even for an hour or two in those sorts of activities and that's the way that we're going to make the club build and we're going to make it stronger and we're going to make it better uh, than than it is uh, despite all our efforts i mean we're really pleased we've got nearly a thousand regular viewers of our youtube channel we've got you know well over 400 people who are members of our facebook group uh, we've got uh, nearly 200 people that are signed up to the club newsletter. All that is is uh, shows you that the reach of our club uh, is very large and uh, very big. And I want to make a point here that one of the positives for the radio club uh, as a result of COVID was that when we put our meetings online, we 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 
brought into the club. We we told them they didn't have to become members to come to our meetings, uh, but some of them have come along so regularly they wanted to, and they identified with what we're trying to do in the club. They have become club members. So we've got members now in the United States. We've got members in Germany. We've got members in Belgium. We've got a member, two members in South Africa. That's fantastic for our radio club. And all those people have helped enrich and make the club better than it is. I mean, one of the great things about amateur radio is it's an international hobby. And we have now got members from other parts of the world and other parts of the UK that enjoy what we do. They've been enjoying our digital radio nets we hold on a Thursday night on the uh, on the digital reflector XLX 305D. Uh, we've got people who have joined in our activities by um, contacting us on field day. So we've we've spoken to, for example, our member Bob N4XAT, uh, who uh, volunteers on the battleship New Jersey out in the States at a weekend. We've spoken to him from the club on the radio and that's great for Bob and it's great for us and other club members as well. And we've all taken great pleasure out of that. So we're really pleased to see members from outside the Yorkshire area become into the club, become members of it and become part of it. And we think that is great uh, for our club and for the future. So that's the gist of the statement we agreed. We're going to publish on, on here as well, but we thought it would be a good idea to make this available uh, here as a video, just because some people may enjoy that as a, as a way of uh, catching up with our news. So thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you at the next online meeting or to see you at the next face-to-face uh, -face meeting or see you at one of our portable uh, field day activities. Uh, goodbye, 73s to you all, and see you all soon.